Right, so this is the last example, I think, for lesson two of circles, and it's, it's the last example for the pack, I think, which is nice. So it says, show that this is a tangent. Right, so thinking, does it intersect? Are you looking at something that intersects? So I want to sub one equation into the other. So I've got x squared plus 3x plus 10 squared is 10. So let's expand, let's uh, rearrange, let's simplify. Let's see what we've got then. So 9x squared, 60x plus 100 is 10. So 10x squared plus 60x, take the 10 over, plus 90, so 0. To make it a little bit easier, I'll just divide through by 10. Because it's equal to 0, isn't it? So now I'm going to look at the b squared minus 4ac. So I want to show that it's a tangent. So it's a tangent if b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. So let's work out a value for b squared minus 4ac. So that'll be 6 squared minus 4 lots of 1 times 9. So that's going to be 36 take 36 is 0. <gasps> Look at that, put your b squared minus 4 ACs in there. So then we want some form of conclusion. So as, ooh, I know, <laughs> board just moved then, sorry. Uh, as b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. Go back to the question. Well, the whole board's moved, doesn't it? 3x plus 10 is a, is a tangent. Uh, so y equals... So x squared plus y squared equals 10. Yeah. There you go. So that was a short vid, wasn't it? That's only like two and a half minutes long. And then you're into exercise two and exam questions. Yay. So well done, everybody. You are amazing. See you later.